Yo, what's up, Jay? How's it going? I, I'm doing good, Mel. I'm doing good. Um, I just got a big meat delivery. Okay. Meat. Yeah. I mm -hmm. ordered this. Like, like the kind the that you can eat and, and swallow and digest and shit out or a different kind? That kind, that kind, that kind you eat, swallow. I know you get a meat delivery. Sounds like something completely different. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I ordered like a bunch of this meat from this thing. It's called, uh, like, I, I don't even remember what the brand is, but they just give you clean meat. Like, like you get the grass finished, no bullshit. Oh, no oh stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ones where yeah. like the cows are like given massages and therapy and they not like. Not that crazy. Not, oh, Kobe, okay. not Kobe stuff, but like just there's just they just don't put any bullshit in it. OK, so, so upper middle like, class. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, it's OK, nice. for good. sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, the uh, I didn't go to Coachella this past weekend, um, but mm. I did get fingered to the live stream. So, nice. basically, yeah, no, I was like, um, like I was with this dude and um, we were like, like the the desire to watch Tyler, the creator's uh, set, like kind of was stronger than the desire to fuck because I was like, oh, if we fuck right now, then we're going to miss the set. And then I was like, oh, mm -hmm. but I'm still really horny. So we so like basically it was like, OK. We're both going to watch that. We're going to spoon. We're going to watch this and you're going to finger me. And it was just like funny because I kind of kept going back and forth and it kind of felt like um, it, it kind of felt like I was getting fingered to Tyler. And it was funny because like he was like he was watching the thing, too. So we're both just like watching Tyler perform very well. Um, and I'm like, oh, this is like kind of nice you know like he's fingering me he's not like insecure mm -hmm. about the fact that like you know he's the one stimulating me but i'm looking at Tyler. like i was like oh this is this is good you know like um he did have to put in a little effort he had to put his back into it because originally um he was originally he was tired and i was like okay maybe it'll work the same if like you just put your hand there and then i put a vibrator over your hand and then it's kind of like something and then i was like no put your back into it as in your hand back but um yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. uh I thank you yeah yeah thank you tyler the creator for having a great uh, for you know performing very well i came to your set and yeah so i'm like cool got got fingered to tyler yeah um nice. and yeah and speaking of fingering i am very excited for our guest today um we have what is the deals aka adelia she is an only fans icon she is um i believe one of the top or at least to me one of the top creators um she's also the uh she's also uh recently a stand-up comedian she's the host of the that's offensive podcast and she just has like a bajillion followers on everything for being funny and hot and sexy and let's welcome adelia what's up adelia so glad to have you on thank you come again thank you for coming yes. the first time what do you mean as in oh, right like, now yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> no like literally right before we started recording um you guys were talking about there's some redhead girl you know and like yeah che was like Oh yeah, after you asked like, oh, after meeting her in person, do you still jerk off to her? I think that's we should start there. I think that's a very interesting thing to talk about. Just just to be clear, didn't jerk off to her before. I had never seen her in porn before. I didn't know that she did off o OF content, mm -hmm. but I did see her on Pornhub today. <laughs> nice. And then I was like, oh, that's like I know her. That's my friend. And <laughs> and I so then, but then I can't jerk off to them because you're always like playing a character um and that it when i know you in real life it breaks the immersion mm -hmm. and i think like the the thread the storyline the motivation for fucking is like a big determination on how much i'm gonna get turned on by the mm -hmm. porn and so if it breaks the immersion i can't jerk off to it interesting also i've just got your joke uh thank you for coming the first time because of the podcast name um, <laughs> it yes. took me a solid second <laughs> It's okay. I know I it takes me very long to get things like I only get that joke because I made it and I've been saying it um, for 40 weeks in a row. So that's quite literally the only reason why I know <laughs> I know what's going on. Um, yeah. No, but that's yeah, but that's like interesting, Jay, because I think there's two experiences, right? There's like seeing someone in person and then seeing them online versus seeing someone online first yeah. and then seeing them in person. Like, because I think often the opposite yeah. is true where um, the, I know there are a lot of people who prefer like the more authentic part like i mean I'm, i think there would be other people who have the, a totally different reaction right where it's like oh because i've met her in person now you know it's even hotter to watch them online yeah now i'm now i'm like i'm tuned in i want to i want to get you're the, locked I in get the jizz yeah uh i and the same thing happened when last time i did uh at ale's podcast I, I walked in i didn't know that sylvia sage was going to be there and i've seen i've jerked off to sylvia sage i've i don't know how many times like i can't even I can't <laughs> yeah when am it. i going to be on your podcast then, i feel so i was like what like like me? i feel like you want right, to come on yeah no fucking you don't shit. i was like you, i remember you came up to me at a party like a week or two ago and you're like a and i'm like oh my god you don't follow me though wait i don't 
No. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> I was well like, I didn't think you knew who I was. I'm like, oh, of course oh, I know who you are. She knows who I am. Oh my god. No, no, no. <laughs> I of course. No, of course I do. Oh, that was probably like um. Okay, so uh, uh basically a year a year ago, I had like yeah. uh, I basically had like a mental like just like a mental like psychosis breakdown. I'm on medication now, but then I but I like mass unfollowed um everyone that I hadn't talked to in like a month because I just got paranoid. And then I've been, and I've been like refollowing people slowly. Um, no, I was like, of course I know you are like what, like, dude, you're like, your tits are all over my, my feet. Thank you. Yeah. And, and yeah. And also your <laughs> gorgeous you. face. <laughs> I'm like, shout out scumbag dad and all of our camel toe content. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No scumbag dad. Um, we had him as one of our very first guests. Uh, you just did a song with him, right? Like he produces all my yeah. raps and you guys did. Yeah. I think you did like a drinking song and a camel toe mm-hmm. song. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's on brand, like drinking and I, sex. I have I, I funny. I don't even really drink. Um, I haven't drank alcohol in like three months, but shrooms. Mm-hmm. But that's like Dang an everyday shrooms. thing oh yeah that Almost was at the, um no we were we were all at that same party the other day it was like the creators inc party yeah yeah, yeah and it was just like yeah, oh yeah. yeah like i just kept seeing you know i was like oh cool riley reed is here and then like chase i was like whoa and then i was like oh yeah of course of course we would all be here yeah of course we would be here can we Shout talk about how inc. that was a wild party by the way like how there was just like an area there was like a whippet station and right next to the whippet yeah. station there were just people fucking on the couch and i was like this is a recipe for success you know what's so funny people were fucking yeah it was i cash. got there so late i missed damn, so dude, much you missed of the, the fucking juice. on the couch yeah damn oh god it was damn. hollywood cash money and then me and mikey went to go get tested the day after and cash was there after fucking the girl <laughs> on the couch mm-hmm. <laughs> and i'm like what's up cash <laughs> oh, okay so this is a person i thought you were just ta- saying cash money in general and then i was like oh, okay this is a person got it got it got it's it. like it's like his porn name i have no clue what his real name is i just call him cash and he has like a very long dick but it's a skinny dick and mm. i'm like mm-hmm. that would ram some girl's cervix <laughs> yeah oh so it's <laughs> long and slender cervix. like a slender yeah. man kind of like hand going in there uh-huh mm-hmm. yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. wait yeah. what kind yeah, of dick do you finger. prefer Okay, so I actually haven't had dick in two and a half years. Boo, what? tomatoes. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, Whoa, what? it's kind of sad. Um, I've been celibate because men don't respect you and women do. So I've been eating a lot of pussy, mm. though. I've nice. Been a lot of pussy. Nice. So you just you just ate an all star like t- top ten pussy. Wait, which like, one? Super. Fi- the uh, Sherry Deville. You just did a scene with Sherry Deville, didn't oh, you? Oh, that was a while ago, but yeah, that was fun. Oh. She actually broke my girl celibacy because I'm like. You're an expert and I'm really nervous because like I I didn't ever mean to be celibate from women. They just made me really nervous. I was mm-hmm. like, <laughs> I was just like, do you do you maybe do you maybe want to collab? And then I would always psych out and bail because I'm like, I'm just going to be bad at eating pussy. Like I just got in my head. And then when I started eating pussy again, everyone's like, no, you're actually really good at eating pussy. And I'm like, yeah, well, I, w- <laughs> oh I feel like God. if anyone like you would probably be the best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I think we, I was like, oh, yeah, we know what we're doing. Eating pussy is easy. I'd say fingering, that's what my fingers almost get claustrophobic. And then I'm like, mm. <laughs> what am I? Like, wh- where, where am I supposed to finger like that? Because I'm not even good at fingering myself. So, like, mm. I just. Mm. Wait, so how do you masturbate? Because I'm for sure a self fingerer. Like, that's typically how I get off. I don't put my fingers inside. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm self sufficient. Um, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I have the Hitachi uh, level yep. four. Yeah. The Hitachi. Whoa. Level okay. Four. Okay. The Hitachi is What's the Dyson K- of vibrators. I've been saying this. <laughs> yeah. I think, um, you know, it doesn't do well on Twitter when I say it. I don't care. I stand by that. Okay. But yeah, you have the Hitachi 4. You know, my mom actually gave me my first Hitachi because I was, yeah, but it's, it it wasn't to vibrate. It was, she's like, I was complaining about my back and she's like, oh, "Oh, I use this for my back. And I'm like, I'm not using this for my back. Does she know what it's for? Does she know that you can get like a, like a Theragun for that? I actually have no clue because I don't think my mom has ever masturbated in her life. No, my mom for sure has never. Like I know, I know for a fact, like I don't even need to, I would bet my life on that, but okay. (laughs) Yeah. So, I mean, she's like walked in on me in the bathroom using my vibrator before because like when I've like stayed home at the house, I'm like. What, when is she not going to walk into me? Uh, when she thinks I'm taking a shit. So I'd like take the vibrator in the bathroom and 
nope, that didn't stop her. She would still walk in and be like, Adelia. And then we'd just never talk about it again. How did she even know Jeez. to buy it without knowing what it is? Like, I think it's very funny that she was just like, <laughs> yeah, you have back pain. Let me get a level four Hitachi. Like, that was the first, like, how did that? She uses it on her back for her, like, shoulders and, like, her back. Like, she- I don't think she's ever put it on her clip before. Mm. I think that's what it was. It was a- yeah. originally. It's I don't know if this massager. was the real attention. Oh. Yeah, it was a, a back massager that just started blowing off clits that people were like, yo, this yeah. is this has got a second purpose and it became the main purpose. Yeah, because yeah, the yeah. company that made it is it, they also make like grills. They make like all this <laughs> can, like Wait, I think Hitachi construct- makes grill. OK, you know, that makes Hitachi sense. They- also makes bulldozers. Yeah. They make like they're they're like a huge tech. Okay, company. That makes sense. And they that make like sense. crazy like engineering. So shit. if they yeah, yeah, yeah. marketed it as like a vibrator, I think that that could potentially actually lose some like investors or whatever from them so Mm -hmm. they have to like market it as a as a back massager Mm. yeah and it's like the that's like how we market our (laughs) our podcast (laughs) is considered a a society and culture podcast like that's what we're categorized as we're like oh yeah it's like society and culture and i'm like yeah it's a a part of it for sure yeah so your level four. What does it? What does it max out? Four. At? What does uh, Hata- oh four? Oh, so you're max. Yeah. You're max I'm level maxed Hitachi. Out. Yeah. Dude. Wait. So what is your jerk Good off you. process? Do you? Are you like a direct clit stimulator? Like, where is the Hitachi going? Are you like more down clit. in the lobby? What? Uh, like on my clit. Like wherever that Just like little directly on ball top is. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. That's. It's not yeah. like too sensitive there. No, oh, okay. uh, I wish I was more sensitive. I'm like, mm-hmm. I could for sure probably come easier if I was more sensitive. Like I've only came, I think, getting my pussy maybe twice. And then all of the other times have been like my vibrator. Oh, um, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Yeah. I, I'm Not- also like still processing the fact that you haven't had <laughs> dick in two, like, two and a half. Two and a half. That requires a level of discipline that I find to be extremely admirable. Like, wow. Thanks. You know how many yeah. times I've wanted to break it? Because, like, I'm horny. I'm a horny girl. So every yeah. time I'm like, I really want dick, I'm going to hit up my girl crushes and be like, who wants to fuck me this week? Like, please, we'll film it. I can't, like, because mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, there, there's a big part of me that's wanted. Like, I've never been in love with someone who's, like, mutually in love with me. There's part of me that just really wants that for the next phase of my life. But then there's the other part of me that's like, well, what if I just fuck one of my guy friends? But then I'm like, but would I really have wanted to be two and a half year celibate just to fuck one of my guy friends and have it be meaningless i'm with you and that i'm like like, extremely romantically thirsty right where it's like you know when you when you fulfill like a lot of the sexual needs you're just sort of like oh wait like i'm like you know i'm horny for some like genuine like eye contact like look at me yeah (laughs) yeah yeah Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's too big now it's too big of a hurdle like a buddy of mine he didn't fuck for like I want to say three years, maybe three and a half Whoa. years. Yeah, by choice, and though? Then, was he uh, an yeah, but, By okay. choice, yeah, yeah. He he was like a monk. Like, he he meditated every day. He did, like, a yoga every day. Like, and he, basically, he um he knew that if he was with someone, he, uh, like, it, when he's with a person, it would compromise his own morals. Like, if someone yeah. has something that he doesn't agree with, he would start agreeing with them just because he's close to this person. And so he wanted to become, like, a more developed, secure person in himself before he started well, very healthy yeah it's a very mature oh, that's decision very healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what i've been trying to do i'm trying to like love myself because i i fear that if i were to be in a relationship right this moment which i've improved so much over the last few months because i went through like a deep deep depression and now i'm like out of it yeah but i'm like what if i just got in a relationship and then i do everything in my power to make them happy and just sacrifice all of my own happiness and like that's so that's I've done that in all of my past relationships. Oh, yeah. Then, that's not the way for yeah, sure. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it definitely starts with like loving yourself. And there's all, and yeah. it's also totally not your fault. Right. Like that's how society conditions women. And so you're like and so it actually doesn't surprise me because you are like hyper successful. You have like a bajillion followers or something <laughs> online. And you're also the, I'm going to do her intro now. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Adelia. What is the deals <laughs> online? Um, only fans icon. Also the host of that's offensive. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Has a bajillion, fo- whatever. Like it, <laughs> it, even if you don't look her up, you will see her. It's, it's like, uh, like you're, um, fuck. What's that word? Prolificness. Whatever, the fact that you've just been, like, spreading your titty seed, like, all across the internet, I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah, let's fucking go. I'm getting them redone in December, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm excited. Not, like, crazy bigger. I just, like, they're a D right now, and I wanted, like, a in between a double D and a triple D just so, like, my proportions are a little, you know. Yeah, so you can be the one Are your tits already done? Yeah. 
Oh, I thought your tits were natty. They look natty. They look natty, but they're yeah, not. Yeah, they do. <laughs> natty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. What oh, is yeah. the process of... Um, so, what does redoing them entail? Like, I, I know... Ver- so, is it like they go in and they, like, take it out and they re-put it back yeah. in? Or do they add? Or, like, how does that work? It would have to be a whole new implant um, because I have the silicone gummies, which is really cool because the silicone gummies, first of all, they feel pretty real. I would let you feel that sounds like an edible. (laughs) (laughs) The silicone, like the gummies, dude, like that is that is amazing that that's how they like market it. Right. Because they don't want they don't want you to because the word implant is very like, oh, that sounds like painful. But when they're just like, oh, yeah. Do you want the triple E like, you know, cloud (laughs) jumpers or do you want the like that's great marketing the gum like gummies. Uh that's, That's great. Sorry, but keep going. Well, they, they can't pop. That's why it's called the gummies. Like, even if it ruptures, like the, the silicone all stays together. So it's Have like, other, do, oh. do, does it pop for other people? That sounds terrifying. One of my best friends in college, her mom, um, they got a really, really rambunctious chihuahua and it bit her boob and it popped and it was like the silicone that popped and she had to like go emergency, get another silicone implant but also take care of like the silicone that was like spreading in her body because it's toxic oh my Damn. god that's also like yeah. i mean it is you know <laughs> it, it, first of all is she okay yeah no she's fine okay cool then she's i'm fine. about this to say this next ago. thing okay yeah. thank god because i was like fuck if she died from that i'm not gonna make this jo-. but like <laughs> it is kind of funny like the idea of a chihuahua coming and like and like yeah. biting your tit and exploding <laughs> and then you being in like a very life-threatening situation where it's like you know um and it's crazy because like you know during the burial ser- the burial service or whatever like eventually <laughs> when chihuahua. all else decomposes it is just you know one like intact silicon tit and the other one with like a little chihuahua bite in it. And people are just going to, you know, they're yeah. going to be like, what went on there? <laughs> Have like a push up bra just for this one size so that they match. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> You're just evening it out. Right. Everything, yeah. everything in life requires balance, you know, back to the, the Buddhist mm-hmm. thing that we were talking about. I'm tying this back to Buddhism because <laughs> that's what it is. Um, but what you said before was like interesting. So you mentioned like, you know, um, wanting genuine romance, no dick in two and a half years. Um, Mm -hmm. your mom not knowing what Hitachi was buying one for you anyway. One of my questions was like, you know, how, if at all does, um, you know, being an OnlyFans star play into your various relationships, like your relationship with your parents, your family, your friends, dating, yeah. So uh, (laughs) this is actually part of my stand up set that I do, but my dad sent me screenshots of my own nudes okay what he, yeah so the the story begins Whoa. the story begins that uh there was this girl who i went to church with growing up um and she had, like, had a boyfriend for a really long time uh, who was also from the church and now they're married but backpedal a little bit he was trying to cheat on her with me it was like let me fly you out to texas blah 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 and i was like you're literally disgusting like i know your girlfriend like I've known her for years, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure she found out because then she wrote a letter to my dad or like an email to my dad being like, your daughter does OnlyFans. She <gasps> does this on her OnlyFans. Had to go on my OnlyFans to even see what I was posting. She's like, listen to my podcast. Was telling my dad about what I said on my podcast. She's like, I want my name to be, uh, I don't want my name to be mentioned because, uh, because your daughter is vindictive and she scares people, which I'm like, I can, I think I have only genuinely ever scared one girl in my life, and it was my old roommate who had had parties. Like Wait five a second. Nights a I'm very confused. So, like, okay, so the guy is trying to cheat on his girlfriend with you, but you yes. were like, but you were like, no, because I'm a yes. normal good person, yet she still. Yes. Uh, okay. That and then, sounds- but she framed she probably- it. She framed it. He probably spun a different. Oh yeah, he was manipulating her for sure. Yeah, Yeah. sure. Oh my god, I'm sorry that happened. But keep going. I mean, I had stand up content out of this. You know, I'm good. Mm -hmm. But uh, but then you have to monetize on all suffering. Never suffer for free. Okay, I'm gonna stop interrupting you like a man. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's okay. Keep interrupting me. I love it. (laughs) Um. Okay. So. uh, So then she told my dad. She was like, "This is how I figured out who it was, though, because like when he was telling me the contents of the letter, she's like, my dad died of cancer a few years, like a few months ago or something, and." I just know that my dad would be so disappointed in me. So then um, my dad sent me basically what this girl sent him, but like cut out, redacted her name. But it was very easy to figure out who it was just from like who else's dad from the church died of cancer. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. And then. Oh, my uh, God. I totally forgot the like I've like there have been so many points in the story. I forgot about the church origin. Oh, my fucking God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know her from the church. 
Wow. And she had to go on my OnlyFans and listen to my podcast just to be like repulsed by me. And then, um, and then my dad was like, well, what is it that you're doing? And I'm like, if you have any respect for our relationship or boundaries whatsoever, you're just going to like drop this right now and like forget it was ever mentioned to you. And then he was looks your up. dad finding out. Did your dad already know that you were on OnlyFans up until that point? No. Wait, so what, so what was the very first thing that came out of his mouth? Like, what's the very first thing he said? Honestly, <laughs> I think it was just like, I think it was just a copy and paste of what the girl said. And he's mm. like, we need to talk, period. Mm, mm-hmm. And then it was like a bunch of stuff like, do you not realize how embarrassing and shameful this is for the family? Do you not have any shame for yourself? Like, are you not embarrassed to be like a whore online? Like, it was I'm stuff sure like now that. you're paying their bills. No, if, no, if- my dad still makes more than me. It's actually my goal to make more than him. Oh, okay. Um, that means that good. you guys yes. are both doing yeah. very well, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. No, he's making yeah. he's making a few million a year for sure. Oh um, wow! Fuck yeah! Yeah, boo tomatoes. But it's okay. I'm trying to rebuild my relationship. But then, and then I was like, just drop this if you respect our relationship at all. He looks up. What is the deal's OnlyFans? The first thing was like OnlyFans leaks. He clicked on that screenshotted it sent me a picture of me spread eagle and it's like part of my stand yeah wait which one is spread eagle vagina out like that oh okay 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 like from the front yeah so okay um, okay vagina forward head okay i understand yep my dad's like a big trump supporter so like part of my stand-up set is like there's nothing let's make america great again more patriotic than sending a screenshot of your daughter spread eagle right <laughs> that's that fucking great i love that oh no that's fucking great yeah oh yeah and then and, and another part of your intro is like oh and you're also a stand-up comedian in addition to being an entrepreneur and a I'm, regular comedian. Uh, trying to do stand-up <laughs> i'm like i love you're it. doing I do it i mean it. you're up yeah. there on stage making people laugh i think that's what it is i mean i'm yeah. not I'm not fucking up there because I'm scared because I'm a little coward. Um, but 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 not you. Um, wow. Okay. So then, where did the conversation with your dad go? Like, where is I this blocked now? him for a year and a half afterwards. <laughs> I wow. just wouldn't. And then he would send me emails and like be like, "I miss you. I don't know why we don't talk anymore." And I remember like, my what do you mean? he doesn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we don't talk anymore. You don't remember this giant fight we had Wait, and- over me doing porn and you fucking sending me my own nudes? You don't remember you that? That's the like funniest maybe like- part of this is that my mom. Actually, I don't know if it's the funniest part of this, but my mom was like, yeah, like your dad was wondering if he did anything wrong. So he showed the conversation to his friends to be like, what? did I do anything wrong? Dude, what? what? <laughs> you showed your daughter's nudes to your friends? What the fuck, Oh dude? my God. And he thinks that you're the one in the wrong? That's crazy. <laughs> Wait a second. Is your dad like so religious that like, I don't know, is he, I'm assuming like They're the church all, and yeah. stuff. Is he? Is he like so religious that he can't even he doesn't even see that that is like insane? Like cuz I can understand having like such a like such a like being so innocent that you don't understand that nudes yeah. of your daughter and sharing them with people and being like I'm just trying to help. Now listen. Like does that what he re- I have no clue if he figured out how to delete my nude before showing his friends that, but I he they my parents don't understand technology. I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't yeah. think that they would understand how to delete a photo before showing their friends. I mean, maybe that's just me, but like. Is it still <laughs> that... blocked? So you blocked every, when See, was this conversation? This was 2021, I believe. 2021, yeah. And then he, he was blocked for like a year and a half and I unblocked Wait, him. Frozen? There was like a family scare like last December and I had a concussion and I didn't want to deal with it. And Wait, then I'm so I, sorry like, to pause. Um, everything oh, yeah. paused for me because God knew that if I heard that I would come immediately and disrupt <laughs> all the. OK, so um, I'm I, it pauses the part where it hap- you said the conversation happened in 2020. 2021, 2021. OK, so post pandemic. Yeah. OK, OK. And then what happened? Yeah, it was 2021. And then he was blocked up until there was like a big family emergency last year where like, even though I had a concussion, and I felt like shit, I had to like, go help the family. And then I saw him for the first time. And I was like, if like, I told my dad, How did I you get a concussion. A- Sorry, like, there's so many twists and turns in this story. I'm like, holy fucking shit. It's like we got church. We got spread eagle. We got family. We got both parents. We got we got the yeah. Trump joke. We got concussion. What? Yeah, I got it. I'm I'm a big. Uh, I love dubstep. Dubstep. Uh, that's oh yeah, same. How, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Fucking same, dude. No, like my very first things. time doing Molly was to Skrillex. It like planted something in my mind. Like when I first heard mm-hmm. Skrillex for the first time in high school, I was like, something's out here there that can like fully capture my rage. What the fuck? I'm going to yeah. dedicate my brain cells to this. But okay, you love dubstep. Dubstep makes me so horny, but actually, okay, my <laughs> brain just keeps going in, like, all these different directions. The first time I ever did Molly, I was, like, low-key drugged with it, but, like, I don't, I don't want to say, like, drug-drugged because they told me it was Molly. I didn't know what it was, and I was, like, the only other drug I'd ever tried was weed, and I'm, like, oh, is it, like, weed? And they were, like, yeah, so I popped it before class. <laughs> they were, like, yeah, it's, like, weed. <laughs> what? So I started rolling at school, had to, like, hop a fence. At school? Yeah. Wait, this what? Was as a, what? I was what, 15 which, years what? old. Okay, fifth. So this is high school. It was high school. Okay. I managed to blow three guys that day. <laughs> As like a fifteen-year-old rolling. Hold on. on but where? Fence. Like at school or after? No, I had to hop a fence, and then I just went. There was this. Okay, so this the first guy's house that I went to. I had a crush on him for a while, <laughs> and then he pulled down his pants, and I, I think it was the first uncircumcised dick that I had never ever seen. But it also like, it. I know Chase uncircumcised. Uh, we saw his penis on my pod, but we did, yeah. wait, you you showed your penis on the pod. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I, did, I think I did it. Oh, okay. I think I did it both times. I was on your pod. Nice. Yeah, I should because yeah, I yeah. showed it to you and Maddie, yes. and then I showed it to you and Sylvia. No, yeah, <laughs> he hasn't even shown it on our pod. I feel like we're. I feel I was like because well, you, like, you have to pass the phone around, you know. Oh yeah, exactly. yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's the, why. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but okay. Oh my god. Um, but um, okay. So, so you, but so then I freaked out. So I blew him for a sec because I felt bad. But I was like, I I thought that he had an STD or something. I was like, why does his penis look like that? And I said, I'm going to the bathroom, and then I left to go get picked up by this next guy that I was going to blow. And then when his dad was coming home, I was like, okay, let me hit up this last guy. And then I blew him. And then I was wondering why, like, like, you know, when you're rolling and then you're really dehydrated and then there's just like a bunch of like white skin on your mouth. And then I was just like, what's going on? Like I need water. And then I just walked home at like, 7 p.m. that day and i'm like today was a day i can't believe that was Dude. your first time rolling and it's and to and to like have the courage to just do it as a i'm sure i'm guessing you're like a sophomore or a freshman or something sophomore yeah wow okay wait and then how I, is this related to the concussion sorry che, oh, you're, you, you, have, you, you have said... a follow-up question too no the the i just liked you saying i managed to blow yeah. <laughs> three dudes that day like i fucking i have persevered and i fucking worked super hard i fucking know everyone doubted me but i got out there and i sucked those three Mm -hmm. no it sounds like a linkedin story no a story of triumph for sure yeah yeah yeah. i grew up ugly okay like i grew up well maybe i wasn't actually ugly but just everyone liked to tell me that i was ugly and oh that probably meant you were hot Okay, yeah. sorry, sorry. Okay, yeah. let me just like let me just backpedal this. Uh, you did not grow up ugly. You grew up thinking that you were ugly because uh-huh. um, the thing is, when you're actually when someone's actually ugly, you don't feel the need to talk to them at all or to say anything yeah. to them, right? Like that's like a people trying people being like, oh, she's pretty, but like that's a threat to me, so I want to put her down. So uh, I'm sure you did not. Yeah. But anyway, keep going. <laughs> thank you. So then, when all of a sudden I could blow three guys in a day, I was like, maybe maybe I'm like climbing up this ladder. Like maybe I'm not that bad looking like, and usually it was easy to like hook up with people in high school. If you were at a party or something like that, but just managing like three guys on a school day, I was like, I felt like I was winning in life. No, but, you're um, canonically gorgeous. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, no, but like, um, and, and I think also actually- like your success is like just a testament to that, right? Like, um, you know, it's not like bajillions of people are out there being like, wow, I'm jerking off to this person who I think is totally not gorgeous and who I'm in love with. <laughs> um, wait, but back to the concussion. Did it pause for anybody Did else? She- yeah, froze for me. Oh, too. Okay. She be um, back I don't know. I don't even remember oh, what I was doing because my brain is fried from all the cumulative drugs I've done over the course of my life. But I was just kind of asking about your. We never got to the concussion part. So does oh, that yes. concussion? Yes. Um. So the Molly actually had nothing to do with that story. Yeah. You said that you rolled for, for during Skrillex or whatever. But yeah. Um. I was just like headbanging with my friend Kat at the time, and like we were at Midnight Tyrannosaurus. And if you know who Midnight T is, he's like one of like the heaviest dubstep artists there is. Mm, mm-hmm. And I was just going so fucking hard and like. Yep. And then um, my friend was really drunk and decided it was a great time to grind on me while I was headbanging. Mm. So then the back of my head hit the front of her head, oh, and no. it was like. It was my fourth or fifth concussion. Um, Wait, what? So, 
<laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, so um, what percentage of these concussions are dubstep related? That was actually the only one. Okay. Yeah, one of my concussions was from hiking, and I was trying to climb some rocks, and then one of the rocks hit right here when I was, like, mm-hmm. trying to climb it because mm-hmm. I was, like, I was really scared of heights and just didn't want to look down, and then I hit my head on the rock. So that was my first one. Mm-hmm. My second one, I took Xanax. Don't know what happened. Last time ever taking Xanax. Mm-hmm. Just woke up with a concussion mm-hmm. third time um uh i told this guy slam my head against the wall you won't while we were fucking and he did uh because you know when you say you won't for a guy uh it means that he's gonna do it even harder okay uh, that's a little trick i've learned is it pausing for anyone else um, it's pausing for me that was one of my concussions okay wait sorry that's it my just, favorite it... you've told me that story but uh, the I'm sorry. It just paused for me. I like oh, I, it stopped when you were like, I asked him to slam my head against the wall. You won't. And then he did. Ugh. yeah, I'm um, sorry. I want to kill this person with my bare hands <laughs> now. What's their at? I no, wanted it, it. She. Yeah, she was about it. She was like, yeah, I want this dude to slam my head against <laughs> I'm the like, wall. Am I the only one it's did- pausing for? Okay, so um, apparently my end of the podcast was experiencing multiple concussions while you were yes. talking about yours. Very meta. God is trying to tell me something as he always <laughs> is. Fuck him. Back to your concussions. Yeah. Okay, so dude slams yes. your head against the wall. Who I again? I, who I? I'll just say it again. Like if you want to <laughs> drop his first and last name and his at. Like I, I do feel a strong need no, to. A- um, to make sure violence gets he, carried so, out. Okay, so he wouldn't do it the first time when I was like, slam my head against the wall. But something about telling a frat boy, slam my head against the wall, you won't. That's what that's what convinced him. Because I, like, if, when I fuck men, like, I leave with, like, bruises, like, head to toe. Like, on, I was actually just looking through my text messages with my ex the other day. Because I'm like, oh, my God, I was at Coachella with him. Well, I ran into him at Coachella a few years ago. Uh, when I was on five tabs of acid and then I threw my phone into the crowd when I saw him. Five yeah. tabs of acid? Yep. How many? Oh, five my tabs. God. Five tabs I've ever taken, but I. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking, that's fucking <laughs> legendary. You know, like, I think the most I've ever done at once is, like, two tabs before I'm like, oh, okay. Like, the, the most acid I've ever done was, like, I remember I, like, wrote in my entire arm on in Sharpie, like, what you do in this trip will happen yeah. to you in real life. Like, if you die in this trip, you will die in real life because I was so like, yeah, I can like totally, totally fly. These cars are video games. They're just waiting for me. And then I was like, I was like, no, no. Like, as I was coming up, I, it was like a survival thing. I was just like, what happens here will happen That's there. So and, but funny, anyway, okay, yeah. People so say that they have like crazy trips on mushrooms or crazy trips on acid. Like, I've taken five tabs of acid. I was straight chilling. There was only, there's only been. T- Two times that I took <laughs> way too much acid, and I think it's because there's a lot of fake acid that's coming up, so it, like, reacts with your brain differently, because, like, there's no way. Yeah. Mm. No, bad yeah. drugs are the fucking worst, and that's why you got to get them from, uh-huh. like, the dark net, or you got to, like, test them yeah. with a the kit, but, um, and then- but yeah. Wait a second, because I asked about the concussions, and then I, I eventually want to <laughs> get it back to, um, like, y- like, your dad is... We talked about your dad, oh, but yeah. what about your mom? Like, there's, there's so, so much, there's so much I, I want to know. Show okay, you, sorry. Like, this is the kind of sex that I like. Like, I'm bruised literally all over. Oh my god! Okay, for the yeah. people who are listening, um, Adelia is holding yeah, a body, this and too, uh, like, they're <laughs> that looks some of them painful. Are hickeys, but some of them are from being hit. I love mm-hmm. that shit. Mm-hmm. I love that shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm sitting Are here okay? like, because um, I didn't, I couldn't tell if you were talking about it positively or negatively. Oh, it so was I very was like, positive for um, me. I'm like, uh, I, okay. if I like oh, okay. the, the roughness of it, because I also like to fuck to dubstep. Okay. Like I, I need you guys <laughs> to fuck me to dubstep. I don't care if they're into okay. dubstep or not. It's going to be an experience for us both. Think about it. Like the 140 BPM is setting the tempo yeah. of how fast you should fuck me. Yeah. How hard you should fuck me. If the dubstep gets you riled up, just slap me a little bit. Hit me around. <laughs> Dude, I used to get That's my, so um, I used to, there is this like trap DJ who used to like eat my pussy for like oh, wow. two hours every week or whatever. He had like a, he had, whatever, he had like a nice house. It was like a spot, but I was like, oh, like he, 
eats pussy at the same cadence exactly. as the music he produces. Like I had this, I was like, oh, like it's all, yeah, it, it's all connected. It's like, I was like, but okay, dude. okay. That's such a, such a funny experience from the dude's <laughs> perspective. It's like, yeah, I went to this girl's place and she was like, oh yeah, let's go to the bedroom. And she put on dubstep and then like we, and she was like, yeah, fucking beat the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> I remember when I used to fuck like, with Kapusig when I was like a freshman. He's the one who gave me chlamydia. So I'm like, you know what, whatever. And it was like probably our, six mm -hmm. seven time hooking up and he was just like just why can't i fuck you like to the weekend like any normal girl and i'm like i will dry up like, <laughs> the Sahara desert if you try to put on the weekend while you're fucking mm -hmm. me um <laughs> that's how i feel i'm not like a no. weekend listener slash fucker and i mean no no yeah. shade i'm just not a fan no, I'm a, I'm a no music guy. I like I like to hear the noises. I like. But the, what mm. about that club yeah. wanna... dubstep in the background? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say no. Like like any time a girl's put on music, I'm like, yeah, whatever you want. Like play play whatever whatever. You'd be goes. the first I... person to start like a sexual dubstep conversion therapy, right? It's like, do you like to fuck in silence, but you want to you know level up your your. Me fuck and my experience? best friend Mikey were like fucking the other day, right? And then at the end, it's like I was like, okay, I need a squirt, like. And I, I was trying so hard to squirt. And then I'm like, you know, I need to play some dubstep. Wait, you can squirt like purposely and I mean, using it's your just, mind. I like I squirt when I come. Also, fun fact. Oh, every single uh, time. I trained myself not to do it because I had a situation ship a while ago who told me that it was gross when I squirted. So I then trained myself no. to stop. Ew. Um, Okay, no, oh, he's no. gross he, for saying or he's she a disgusting whoever... person. Yeah, yeah. he's gross so for saying I that. So he's gross for saying like, that. Oh my god, I thought that this was supposed to be hot and I can't I'd have trained myself. Yeah. No, most people I think it's like like I'm the reason I ask is because like I wanna know how because I, I find it like um it's very hard for me to get uh -huh. to a squirt state. Um, and typically it's not usually, <laughs> as, yeah, like, you know, it's just the like a squirt. squirt. State. <laughs> it's like the flow state. I'm in yeah, the squirt exactly. state right now. It's like, yeah. don't touch her. She's in the squirt state. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm like floating and squirting simultaneously. Yeah, my eyes like, are like rolled into the back of my head and I'm like, I've fucking, unlocked like the yeah, chakra. Energy's like flowing around. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. It's like a super saiyan type so, yeah. I have I'm discovered that state. for myself at least. Oh yeah. But wait so the point with that was that i was trying to come with my friend mikey and then it was like five minutes of like me trying to come with my vibrator within like 45 seconds of me playing dubstep i squirted okay like that's that's how much <laughs> like it really gets me turned on mm -hmm. like my goal is to be like fucking a guy mm -hmm. while camping or like uh like doing something and you just like feel the vibrations of the bass while you're like fucking them like at a festival yeah. Mm -hmm. but um yeah no, 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 like full body, because that's like the air, that's exactly. like the air vibrating you, right? Where it's like the festival uh -huh. itself is a vibration. No, yeah. no pun intended, yeah. Have you seen Dune 2 yet? I don't yet? watch Have you movies, seen Dune I'm not two? really with the, with the culture. Uh, I think you would, uh, just the movie's very auditorily stimulating. Okay. It's a lot of like, oh. like a lot of those noises. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I think you yeah. would like just that part of it, at least. Yeah. When did you start associating dubstep with the horniness? The minute I started listening to it, I was like, wow. <laughs> horny. And it used to be like, I would take Molly at every fast, which I don't really anymore. And then I would like fall it like I think I call it Molly love where you're just like oh my god I love you so much like I'm gonna date you and then you hang out with him sober and it's just like crickets it's just solid yeah, oh yeah, yeah no 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 there's like the yeah no like the whole like when you're on drugs and you like fall in love yeah. with another person at a festival it is it's for that moment and That's for that moment so alone times. you know it's kind of like what Chase said earlier it's like you don't uh -huh. want to break the illusion yeah 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 yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. no mm -hmm. there, there was some girl who posted a video recently it was like that guy who you went home with, who you think you're in love with, you think he's your soulmate. You were on drugs. You were on drugs. It's like, yeah, I've, we've Even all been mushrooms there. for me. I feel like mushrooms like bring out sometimes it's, it's not quite rolling, but it feels super similar to rolling. Like I'm able to like connect to people in such a way that like, I'm not able to do really sober. Cause like, mm -hmm. I mean, they both release yeah. similar chemicals, right? You know, like serotonin, dopamine, testosterone. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah. yeah, the first two for sure. Wait, um, but I, I'm I am very curious as to like what your um oh yeah, what does your mom think so, about OnlyFans? Um, funny story. I just got a call from someone from my old. Uh, so my mom's. Have you guys watched the program? 
Do you guys know what it is? No. Mm-hmm. What's that? Okay, it's like a Netflix no, documentary. No Did you guys ever watch Paris Hilton's documentary of like the place that she went to? No? Okay, well, I got sent to one of like the Utah programs where you get kidnapped, you know? Where you get kidnapped and you get sent to like Utah. Like a, like a, like a conversion therapy kind of thing, but for like... To not, not to de slot you? me. It was like... What's the goal it's, of this? Wait, so like you're get are you someone's kidnapping? My Who's parents. orchestrating the kidnapping? Do you sign up for it? My parents orchestrated it. Oh, so yeah. your parents okay. had yeah. you like kidnapped. And sent to like re- okay. it was considered like a rehab. I failed one drug test for weed. I failed I failed one drug test for weed. Oh. And over the like mm. So it was like rehab for it, degenerative. It, yeah, or whatever. It was just, it's considered like a troubled teen school where like people who went to my uh to like the troubled teen school with me, some of them have been to jail afterwards and said jail mm. is better. Jail has. Oh, wait a second. Really? No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. No, I did see Paris Hilton. I think yeah, she had like a TikTok or something, but she was talking about like a troubled teen. But I thought she was just talking about being a troubled teen. A I didn't school. realize there was like yeah. a troubled teen school. Yeah, and honestly, oh, so they have you like locked You're in down. lockdown. You can't, you can't have leave, contact like, with outside world. If you try to tell your parents about like the emotional abuse happening, they make you rewrite letters and phone calls with your parents if you try to tell them about what's really going on. Oh my God. Yeah. Wait, it's what the fuck? Up. How is this not getting exposed? And also, like, so what age 17. were you? Like, when did you? I was how 17. long were you? And I how was long in there for seven months. For? So the first, yeah, Jesus. I was in the first Crazy. program for six weeks, and like they lied to my parents that I was in school and all this stuff, and I and I wasn't, and I and this was a lot more emotionally abusive the first one than the second one because I wasn't allowed to speak. Like you weren't allowed to speak to anybody, so it was like what. Has this been exposed publicly in like yeah. a documentary sense? So like this the, the program, the program okay, is cool. one of them. Paris Hilton. Are the people who are running it? Are they, you know, no. getting like violence at the hands of people like me? It's I actually crazy because, happen. like, basically what happens is all the lawsuits affect the LLC, and because it's like a limited liability or the S corp or whatever it is, like the owners of the uh, of the corporations, even though child abuse is happening in pretty much every troubled teen school that there is. Uh, there's no liability for the person owning it other than you have to shut down the program and then you can just create a new LLC and uh, continue the program as it was. Yeah. That's Jesus insane, fucking Christ. Dude. Yeah. I didn't oh know my this God. big scam well, it's, was going it's on. Like this a, is yeah. wild. Like, you know, so uh, I don't feel bad when my parents spend money on me because they spent 100 k for me to be there. $100,000. When what? I... Oh, so that's the scam. Exactly. The milk and these so, parents for all their money being like, we're going to fix it. Oh, so is it kid. like, okay. And it's so all, they try to tell my mom, they were like, okay. if you pull wow. your daughter early, if you pull your daughter early, then uh, she's going to get into sex work, into drugs, blah, blah, blah. So then when my mom pulled me early and then I ended up doing all this stuff, she felt guilt for like years because she's like, did this happen because I pulled her early? And I'm like, mom, I was watching. I was watching the girls next door as like a middle schooler and being like, I want to be naked like them. Like, mm-hmm. and this is when I was still Christian. I'm mm-hmm. like, it doesn't mean I'm having premarital sex. I just want to be naked. Like this has always been in my head that like, mm-hmm. this is what I wanted to do. So it. Dude, mm-hmm. girls next door is a deep porn. Cut. I, I haven't heard that in a ne- long like, I would watch time. That. I would watch in middle school, like Jersey shore. Like they were, and that's why I'm like all this sense, like social media censorship is bullshit. Cause I was watching people fuck on Jersey shore. I was watching the girls next door where they would just like blur the girls' bodies. I'm like, why in the fuck are we like just censoring everything? Like kids can handle it. No, no, no. It's becoming a, it's becoming very dystopian. Yeah, it's very like uh like you have to like go in like they changed to Instagram or whatever where now you have to like physically go in and like turn yeah. on the thing where it's like, yes, show me political content, but like political yeah. could be like Anything. anything it's like what it, what's deemed political like it's like if i make a, tr- a trump joke or a biden joke like is that yeah deemed dude political? they're it's very like... strict on it okay i have this song that's uh called it's called i'm so fucking asian it's like a feel-good uh-huh. pop punk song but basically like every single promo i did got dinged because they were like you use the word fuck and also asian so they think i'm being like fuck asians yeah or fuck asians one or, time i got my instagram banned because uh-huh. i said yes bitch when my friend posted a hot photo and i got banned for bullying yeah. Yeah. What? No, no. Yeah. No. They just, no. they're not good at that like stuff. Like the context. It, you think, it's like, oh, they're just not good at that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. So, how's everything with your, how's everything with yeah. your mom and so, your like, my your mom? Now? So, that that's kind of what I was getting at. So, my mom was talking to like, uh, so a girl from my rehab like reached out to me and was like, yeah, your mom was like saying that she feels really guilty because now my, my friend from rehab also does sex work. And my mom was like, well, did Adelia get you guys into sex work? Was it vice versa? Like, did they get each other into sex work? Was it because like, 
um was it because we pulled them early like my mom was just like going on and on in her head that would be incredibly <laughs> impressive if you have if like you know like that would make you extremely powerful right it's like i have the power to convert yeah. people into sex workers like that I would mean, be very to impressive. be fair my best friend from high school i definitely got her into doing only fans <laughs> i was like just do it with mm-hmm. me i want to like hook up with somebody but i'm nervous to hook up with other girls and like so now like we make only fans content mm-hmm. together but the girl from rehab like no i think we were both just kind of like what a collab <laughs> no I, I i i love i love that that's the reasoning it's like yo come on like just like we'll make yeah. so much money to get but and, exactly like, that's what's happening so i yeah. mean it fucking um, worked so yeah. like my relationship Wait, with so, my mom um, i literally so- just had like a two-hour conversation with her saturday night because i'm like why am i hearing that you're asking if I'm converting people, like if I'm a bad influence on people, I was like, first of all, fuck you. Then we talked for like two hours. And like, my mom was just saying how she, she, she just, she felt really guilty for a really long time, but she's going to accept what I do. And she's sorry for like everything that she's done to me. And uh, she, I made her watch the program. And now she's like, I'm so sorry for like putting you through all that emotional abuse. Cause I'm like, I turned off all of my emotions. I had panic attacks all the time during rehab, after rehab. It's like I fantasize about suicide every day. And is rehab, this is like yeah, the yeah. trouble. That's just like what I refer thing, right? to. That's such a rehab is like yeah, so even it's like not a the word for that. Like That's jail, just like, like weird. <laughs> I mean, I think that normal teens are going in and they exactly. make them troubled. You know, what's I think so funny? That's, it's, it sounds like they're making teens. This is troubled. also what? like a little part of my stand up set, but I'm like, because it's actually true. Because like when I went in for weed, I got made fun of. Like, like people are like, I'm here for meth, I'm here for coke, blah blah blah. But then every <laughs> so they were already yeah. establishing a hierarchy. It's like oh, that's so lame that you're yeah. here so for then, weed. Everyone convinced me how cool cocaine was. So then, like, a month or two after I got out of rehab and, like, my parents finally started letting me leave the house, I was like, I'm going to try Coke. And, like, the guy who I was on and off with, (laughs) situationship-wise, like, all throughout high school, he ended up being a Coke dealer. So I'm like, hey, give me a line. My parents drug tested me the Mm -hmm. next day, and I failed it for Coke. And I'm like... What are the chances that I now failed a drug test Mm -hmm. for Coke? And I, I... I mean, honestly, very high because it, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, as a fellow sex positive. Yeah. Well, I think it's like when you try to like suppress something, when you try to like enforce and suppress rules on people, it just makes the desire stronger, right? Like humans are naturally rebellious. And so, I mean, like it, it doesn't surprise me that you know people who are like very into sex had some sort of repression growing up I mean that because I I mean my story is like definitely not as cool I basically just like I just didn't know how to get off for too long and then so the rest of my life was like oh my god I need to like make up for all these years Uh of not jerking off speaking of which when did you first learn to jerk off was it while watching I actually didn't know how to masturbate until (laughs) god this is such a funny story so um so I used to tinder fuck a lot right because like you could take the ugly out of the girl but it's like the girl still feels ugly if if that makes sense like um Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. No, no, no. But what I is would, Tinder fucking? Just yeah, fucking people I was, off of Tinder? I was like on a rampage because I okay. was too scared to go up to men in person because I'm like, they're going to turn me down. Like, that's just going to happen. And I'm like, at least with Tinder, if I like someone and they like me, they already know what I look like. Like, they're not going to reject me for the way I look. It's, and it just like was such a sense of like, caught, like I could get my nut in without having to put myself out there too much. And then um, mm-hmm. it was very it was efficient. efficient. And then this guy... He sent me, like, a, a picture of his dick or something like that. And he's like, I'm going to make you come with this later tonight. And I'm like, a choke's on you. I've, I've never had an orgasm before. He's like, no, I'm going to change that. Because um, I was like, I think I was either 18 or 19. So then I get to his place, and he's like, drink this. And it was like a whole bottle of wine, which, in retrospect, stranger danger, whatever, happened, don't, it, I so worth mm-hmm. it. So I started chugging. I started chugging, and then um and then he's like okay put this on and it was like a ball gag and I'm like he's like you talk too much and I'm like okay fair fair um I have had multiple guys I just I I disagree with with him saying that but I've had, keep I've going. had probably like four guys in my life buy ball gags just to shut me up because they're like you talk I think like <laughs> just not my personality which I'm like it, the celibacy really does work in my favor but um that um i think that just is that yeah. seems like a them problem yeah i'm like that's a them problem i'm just like i mean clearly you talking has gotten you yeah. all of the success they you just have wanted now, me to be so an object I'm pretty 
Where's their fucking stand up <laughs> shit? Where's their OnlyFans? Where's their bajillion yeah. dollars and people following? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, okay, like, cool, still but ball gag. Like, all your shit on Reddit's gone. Send me free content and I'll like fuck with him because I'm like, isn't your family rich? Like, <laughs> Where's your like, yeah? Subscribe. Okay, Jelly wow. Porno. Wow. He's her- <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that sounds very. That sounds like jealous yeah, yeah. behavior. Anyways, but okay, so, so ball, gag, ball yes. gag first so orgasm. He put a ball gag on me. Put a blindfold on me, and then like tied me up. And I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. And then he brought out a vibrator, mm-hmm. and within like two minutes, not even two oh. minutes, it was probably like twenty seconds. I squirted like projectile squirted like and i didn't know that girls could nice. squirt like no one really taught me this in sex ed and i was like w- and then i was i always managed to spit out the ball gag okay i'm experienced in that i was like was that you he's like no that <laughs> no, no, was you like manage is a good word it, it has like <laughs> the same like you know story of triumph yeah. and then after and even though i was chained and was choked i still and i still despite all the factors i still squirted i still balled i still uh i, I almost said shut out yeah. um, spit out the and then the i was like gag. oh my okay. god what kind of it was vibrator was it vibrator. and then i'm like oh my god like i can have an okay. orgasm by myself and actually he he got me into my first celibacy phase because I'm like, I got more from this vibrator in 20 seconds than I ever have from fucking a man. So then I just went into this whole mm-hmm. like, like I, I had a, well, I had a situation ship. And then after that situation ship, I'm like, I just have my vibrator. I'm like chilling without dick. Like, awesome. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Awesome. So then, um, yeah, I, I've gone mm-hmm. through many, many celibacy phases in my life. Uh, and I feel like I'm always happier when I'm celibate. But uh, speaking of the squirt, though, mm. I found out, at least for me, because everyone's different, my squirt comes out of my vagina. It does It does not come out of my penis. Whoa, right. whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. I'm so confused. Wait, because, uh, cause, wait, a squirt no. is just piss, right? I'm well, not it's, crazy. It's like, it's like no. a mixture of okay. things, but mine comes out of my vagina. And I know this because I've done a few experiments, okay? Like, I will masturbate with a tampon in and try to squirt. Every single time the, the tampon, like it'll absorb it. Like you, I take it out. Like I, I hook. Wait, so what exactly is it's a mixture? Of okay. Pests, so this but is also like, like other this. vaginal fluids and yeah. it's like other stuff too. So it can oh. come through the urethra. So there'll be like, yeah, traces but mine doesn't come from my urethra, there, but it, it comes from, comes from the skein gland. So it's like, it's the female prostate and that's what like causes the ejaculation. Actually, oh. I just did a video with uh, Joanna Angel where we did a blind uh, taste test challenge where it's a, uh, I taste oh. piss and squirt. No, it's not only fans. Well, we're going to put it okay. out on like Pornhub and like other platforms like that. Wow. It's being edited right now. So like, I'm that's really awesome. excited to see how it turns yeah, out. But- yeah. So, Could you t- so, so how did oh, you me? do? Wait, what? Where him? Oh yeah, oh yeah, Che. How oh, did no, you I was, do? I was, I was just like Che. Like, how did the? Did, were you able to differentiate between squirt and piss? Okay, and I'm like learning yeah. a lot about squirt. Okay, cool. Definitely a difference between squirt and piss. Let's say the 100. percent There's a difference between squirt and piss. Or I mean, uh, squ- uh, squ- sorry, squirt and uh, fucking cum. But okay, okay. So it's like female prostate. So you squirt. I out do, of your and vagina. I because I hooked up with a girl. This was so embarrassing, but I think it's also like so funny because everything embarrassing is content. So I was hooking up with this girl who was like one of my girl crushes, right? And then um, I because I was on my period, so I had I put one of those sponges in. And then I was, like, trying to squirt because I, at the time, was still, like, okay, is squirt piss? I don't know. Like, I don't know what hole it comes out of. And then um, I was trying to push the squirt out, and instead I farted because that's how hard I was pushing. <laughs> I knew, I knew mm-hmm. it was it was a squirt cum. Like, I knew it was. And then I took out, yeah. the like, and then um, I, I got home, and all of a sudden it was, like, a watery thing, like, dripping down my legs. And I, like, take out the sponge, and it was, like, soaking wet. Not with blood. It was just my squirt. And I'm, like, I knew it. I fucking knew it. That was just my mm. confirmation. Um, but still, and I, I farted what, twice. Um, so like when it's all coming out at the same time, how do you like, so when it's all coming out at the same time, how do you know? Because if all the liquids are mixing together, how do you know like what the squirt to cum ratio is? If I have no possible? clue. I have, cool. I just, I just choose not yeah, to eat asparagus that... the day that I'm trying to squirt. Um, and <laughs> you, you would have to go in the lab. You would have to really go in the lab and break down the, the, yeah. the the levels of what yeah. squirt versus I pictures. also found mm-hmm. I'm like trying mm-hmm. to yeah. find it because I also found a picture because I used to take like screenshots for OnlyFans of like me squirting so that they could see like because my squirt <laughs> get like goes but the evidence is fairly damning that the squirt does not look like it's coming from my pee hole at all it's coming from my vagina so I'm like 
for the proof wait i think i think that's very funny that you were like i'm sending screenshots of the trajectory of the squirt as if it's like a stop motion <laughs> claymation the way that or something. I swear, it, there's like there's just so much of it there like how much are we talking um it can it can hit a few feet wow Whoa! dude that's that awesome would be- I would love to have like some sort of squirt off <laughs> challenge to see like yeah. who can squirt the furthest. Do you know Cytheria? Yeah. Uh-huh. Have you ever heard of Cytheria? She she was like, I was watching her in porn yeah. when I was like way younger, but she squirts like so far. She was the first one I ever saw squirt. And I thought all girls, not all girls, but girls who squirts uh-huh. all squirted like this. But she literally squirts like a fire hose. Like it goes like, fo- like yeah. she blasts out of there. That's cool. That's fucking yeah. awesome. Oh, okay. So, uh, um, we have okay. like five-ish minutes left, and I really want to ask. Um, so what are what are your favorite drugs to fuck on? I guess how would you rank like drugs to fuck on from your favorite? Okay, to my favorite? favorite is. Oh my God, this is like this is a hard one. This is like. Or or to or to master. I mean, on. I already I take mushrooms so often. I just think my mushrooms are my favorite drug for everything. To be honest um because like mm-hmm. mushrooms can make me feel like i'm rolling but without the come down a few days later um yeah mm-hmm. i will say like molly i i like ecstasy better than molly because i know it has meth in it and stuff like i just think it makes it better um <laughs> i uh-huh. i don't know it's just me but... <laughs> i love that i love like normally i hear the opposite right where you, i normally hear people say like oh i like molly better because it's not mixed with meth so i feel safer <laughs> but I, I love that you're just straight up like you know i know this has meth in it and it, that's the what makes, it, makes it better because like <laughs> if you take pure mdma mm-hmm. by itself like it's honestly very very calming because I've done MDMA therapy and it's honestly a very yeah. calming drug, but you need to mix it with a little bit of meth or speed so that it's like it, you feel the love, but you also feel the hyperness of like wanting to go all night long. So mm-hmm. yeah, that is just my, mm-hmm. cause the mm-hmm. MDMA therapy that I do is pure MDMA from the chemist who works with like the, uh, what's it called? Like the what FDA or whatever. Cause they're getting it approved for like therapy. Whoa. Yeah. MDMA therapy. When, it's supposed to get approved when and this where? year. What's the situation? Oh, so oh, you're yeah. doing like yeah. the trials for this? Yeah. Oh, that's sick as fuck, dude. I and, and it works like it works? a charm. I highly recommend. Um, What's mm. the process? Like, where where is this happening? I can't really like, say because I don't want to get them in trouble. Um, yeah, yeah, but oh, okay. It she she will be offering it to everyone soon enough. What whenever it's like legalized? Right yeah, that's fucking but, awesome. Um, I, mm-hmm. What changes have you noticed? Is it like a you do the session and then afterwards you feel uh, I'd better say there's about like a things, solid or? two weeks where you're just feeling so many fucking emotions that it's like it can be very overwhelming so it's like because you're feeling stuff mm-hmm. that you've repressed since childhood and it's like you know like trauma stores in your body and it stores in different parts of your body so then when you release it yeah. you're feeling a lot of emotions all at once but then after those emotions are released mm-hmm. you just you feel amazing after that but it's like it's two weeks of mm-hmm. kind of like why am I feeling all these things this is overwhelming this is a lot and then all of a sudden it feels like you're 10 pounds lighter and like everything's going good and like you're just happier so i think that's a big Mm -hmm. part of the reason that i'm like not super depressed anymore is because i've been dealing with my shit um Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i mean that's fucking awesome that's hard yeah that's hard fucking but i will say acid i've had a lot of acid Um, sex that i'm like i i used to but the, the problem with acid and me is that um, I've become mean on acid, but I don't think I'm being mean. It's just kind of like, I think my neurodivergency just really shines. Cause like, I'll be talking to someone mm. and I'm like, you have really dorky shoes. And like, that's, and it's, I'm not, <laughs> trying, to be mean. I'm not trying to like pick a fight. Like in my head, like we're friends and we're talk- or talking and bantering like friends. Or it's like, if I see a single person have an Android, I'm like, wow, you're such a fucking loser. But I'll be talking. In my head, I'll be thinking, like, <laughs> we're, we're friends. Like, we are bantering. Like, we are friends. And then I'll hear them be like, wow, she's such a fucking cunt. And I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do acid anymore. Mm-hmm. But I used to love acid sex. Like, I used to take it every weekend. Mm-hmm. So you have that same thing. I have this where, like, bullying is my yeah. love language. Like, I have to fucking, like, yeah, I got to pick on someone. I need yeah. to be picked on in order to be able to communicate, like, exactly. Care about each other. I mean, yeah. and mm-hmm. granted, I would just meet those yeah. people that day. So it, like... I don't know if, <laughs> but yeah, like, it was just soon. the acid. Like there's no impulse control on acid. Like when I take acid, I, I, a lot of the time just start sprinting to the point my friends don't even try to find me at festivals. Cause I'll just be sprinting into the crowds and they're like, where the fuck did she go? Cause I'm fast. You wouldn't think it, but I'm fast. I did trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's only acid. It's yeah. like the acid. Just, you want to run. You just want to start sprinting. 
Mm-hmm. No, yeah, no, no. Sorry. I know exactly uh-huh. that feeling yeah, where sorry. you're like, think, whoa, this lightness in my body. Am I all powerful? Oh, we might be. I think we might have just lost Mel as oh, okay. well. I think she's just popping in right now. Let's see. We have two minutes. Whoa. Hello? We have cool. two minutes. So, have yeah, you, maybe Now we you do. guys hear me? We can hear you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, like, God hates me. <laughs> yes, I guess. Uh, what else, Um, like, in, in our last um few minutes, what else makes you horny outside of dubstep? Uh, I okay. Fuck, a lot of stuff makes me horny. Dubstep is definitely like the number one thing. If I, I <laughs> love compliments. Probably make me horny. But also, like, if I'm fucking you, like, mm-hmm. I, I, I was hooking up with this one girl, and she's like, "God, you're so hot. You're such a good girl." And I think that'll initially turn me on. But if you want me to come, you have to be like, "You dirty little whore." Come for me like the whore mm-hmm. you are. And it was actually <laughs> crazy how quickly I came after she said that. Versus she was calling me, like, affirmations mm-hmm. for, like, the whole time before that. But just, like, if someone, like, gives me compliments, I feel like if someone, like, also just notices very little things about me, but it depends on if I already have a crush on them. Um, oh, like, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. like, it depends on whether yeah. or not you're attracted to them because if they notice little things and you're not attracted to them, oh, that's I mean, creepy. it depends on if it's, like, a friendship thing. Like, if – yeah. But, oh, like, okay. it, it, yeah, yeah, I guess it all depends. But, like, if you – yeah, I, I'd say dubstep is probably like, the biggest thing to get me horny really fast. Money, <laughs> money gets me kind of horny. Oh, I mean, this is probably like oh, a, yeah. a bad thing to say, but like just the instant gratification of like when something goes viral on Instagram or TikTok, like that kind of gets me horny. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm the shit. Oh, no, that yeah. gets me horny. No, I get like, like, you know, the impact it has on my mental health is, you know, it's, yeah. it's questionable. You know, like I was I felt so good last week because I um I just made this skit about like getting Fuck stuffed yeah. at Build-A-Bear and it like did a bunch of it did better than a bunch of my recent video. And I was like, yeah, build yeah. A bear. like I should go to Build-A-Bear more often. I should, <laughs> uh, I should get and leave the Build-A-Bear content. I should go there. Yeah. Uh, it's actually yeah. crazy because mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. some of my skits, mm-hmm. like I don't know what Instagram is doing because they're hiding a lot of like the overly sexual content right now so it's like i yeah. hate that they're doing that no we, we used to get away with so much, much but like some of my skits now get more views and more likes than some of my like actual posts in my butt which is like a little offensive but i i yeah. in my head i'm just like i know that it's like <laughs> instagram hiding it and like it it, it kills me inside because yeah. like a, a picture a video of my butt used to get what like minimum like and the bare minimum 10k likes but upwards of like 20k 30k like some 40 i'm like okay like this hurts my ego a little bit i mean that's a whole fucking stadium yeah. of people right like yeah. I think- yeah liking your butt then it's just the I likers know, it, just, the it hurts now that like it doesn't it doesn't do that anymore <laughs> just a little bit because instagram's mm-hmm. like oh you want to post that content can't be shown to non-followers and you just want to cry happens mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah no I, I i hate the censorship yeah it's, down with um, censorship if there's uh, like an app where there's like a solid for you page a solid algorithm that just didn't have censorship i mean obviously like no beheadings or none of that but like yeah 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 but yeah i think honestly i've had you this theory this. for a while that there's gonna be yeah the the uh-huh. oh the hbo of like streaming sir of these platforms i think it might be only fans like only fans now doing that like ricky stinicky movie yeah that felt like a comedy from like the like super bad OF era TV. which is kind of gone yeah so i think that they because they don't really need to worry yeah. about getting canceled like if if they put out something that offends people people are like oh what well, their, their money all comes from people jerking off they're like it's not gonna uh-huh. turn off the faucet dude uh i also have another theory about porn is now that Porn, every time like an underground thing becomes super mainstream, the public who doesn't really consume it in the same way will start to critique it and change it. The same thing happened with comedy, yeah. same thing happened with like superheroes, like all the superhero movies and stuff. I think porn might be one of those next like underground huge communities that becomes very mainstream. And then you start to see like the Washington Post write about like inequality yeah. in porn or something like that. Well, you like see that. all That's these, like, like all the these articles, thing. like school teacher fired for doing OnlyFans, but those are all like paid articles, but it's like on the Washington Post, like New York yeah. Times, like my one friend Courtney was on Dr. Phil because mm-hmm. that actually did happen to her but i'm like and i know she didn't pay to get on dr phil but also fuck him i'm with bad baby mm-hmm. no yeah well, of the, course the, <laughs> oh i don't know what's this dr phil he bad sent baby her to one of the programs going. that i went to but she was actually in wilderness i wasn't in wilderness uh mm-hmm. oh oh bad baby yeah, the fucking catch, catch me outside well, what, what, yeah, yeah. Course, I, how about that yeah outside. What about that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. Yeah. Uh, Iconic. Like, I love Iconic. what she's at in life now. I love that she is an OnlyFans. I'm like, this is just 
we love to see it dude the amount of money that yeah she's she's pregnant pregnant i'm just like the amount of money that you make when you like freshly turn 18 i'm like it's a little concerning but like Oh yeah, dude. There's there's the whole thing with like the biggest earners on OnlyFans are oh, all yeah. little people, and then there's like a lot of. Uh, oh, yeah. I did not uh, know that. Uh, How much is that one like, girl? Yeah, Erica and it, it, there's. Um, I don't know how, I think she, I heard rumors that it was like in like upwards of fucking 20 a million month or dollars a year. or something like that. Wow. Uh, okay. A year, a year. Uh, and then, but now the new one is that Megan XO. She's the new number one now. And she like took over Erica and she's yeah. also a little person. Um, but then there is like the, some people are like, is it, how, is it pedos? Is it pedos that are like, I'd say it for sure for is, but at least they're doing it ethically, I guess. Like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> watching little people on OnlyFans is vegan pedophilia. Wow. That's the yeah. quote. That is, that a, is quote. a quote. And it is powerful and not. <laughs> yeah, untrue. it's like, I mean, it is the ethical right? way to like, like deal with your urges of like liking little people. But like, that's crazy. That is actually crazy because I mm-hmm. feel like. And, like, all these girls will, like, market themselves. And, like, even just ethically, like, I can't even lie about it because all these girls will be, like, freshly 18 and will say that to, like, market themselves as, like, younger mm-hmm. than they are. Like, there are girls in their mid-20s marketing themselves as that. And I'm, like, just ethically, I don't want, yeah, yeah. Keep, like, pedos in my DMs. Like, I just know. I'm not going to market myself as, like, younger yeah. than I am. Like, yeah. That's the boundary. Well, yeah, Wait, I do have in, some follow-up some only fans for questions. Go, go ahead really quick, Che. I was just going to say, you see it in some porn where they'll have like plush mellows yeah. and shit on the couch, like stuffed animals and uh, like on the bed. And I'm like, I yeah. see what you're doing. I see the way you're I do you're know like a lot of right anime here, girls, like, though, like never got over their stuffed animal phase. Like they, yeah. So no, it could be an yeah, anime yeah. thing, yeah. but if it's not an anime thing, I don't, I don't really see. Yeah. It's just weird. Yeah, I think yeah. it's, yeah. it's probably both. I mean, it could be like either or both. Um, so what are some common misconceptions? Uh, Cause I know like, so your podcast, that's offensive. Like uh, you, you're like, you know, destigmatizing OnlyFans. So what are some common misconceptions about OnlyFans or people who do OnlyFans that, you know, the average um, person should well, know? Well, not everyone who does OnlyFans is a whore as I haven't had sex in two and a half years. No, wait, no, that made it made, made me sound like I don't like horrors. I love horrors. I love fucking horrors, but like, <laughs> yeah, we all love oh, horse. We all I'm love like, horse. I, I say it in such an endearing way, but like not everyone is out here like fucking everybody. Um, I feel like that's just like such a common misconception. And like, like, yeah, maybe if you're dating like an actual porn star, like she is going to be fucking a lot of people. But like everyone on OnlyFans does so many different things. And like, I also think that OnlyFans girls, I mean, we really... And this is part of the reason that I've gotten a lot more into the sketch creator community and like trying to do stand up and trying to do all this other stuff. Cause I think a lot of OnlyFans girls are, are, are only just seen as objects. And like a lot of us do have talents outside of that. And it's like, these guys don't want to hear us speak. They don't want to hear our opinions. Like they literally only care about our bodies and like want to have this like perfect picture image of us in their heads. And like, I, I think that that's why I like sketch creation so much is because I'm valued for something other than just like being a hyper or overly sexualized person, which like, don't get me wrong. I do. I love doing only fans. I love showing my body. I love doing all this stuff. But like, I just feel like the perception of me has like, people are nicer to me now that I'm not just like some girl showing her tits all the time, which I still am, but like, I have more going on. Um, mm-hmm. I also am curious as to like, um, so I feel like the common dialogue is like, holy shit, like everyone on OnlyFans is making so much fucking money. I know this one girl and she's making a good bajillion. Deal. And so is that like, are we only seeing yeah. like the top? Earn- yeah. Like what is a lot of is that? What does the landscape look like? Is it actually like that no. many people are making that? Or yeah, so, just explain um, it to me. A lot of my friends who are actual porn stars and like they have a fuck ton of followers and stuff like that. But a lot of them. Not everyone, but, like, they're making less than 10 k a month on OnlyFans because, like, and I I know at least, like, six girls I could probably name right now who are making less than 10 k a month on OnlyFans because it's, like, it's really fucking hard to, like, make a lot on OnlyFans. Like, it really is. Honestly, the more I show my personality online, the more I get people subbing to my OnlyFans because it's, like, you could get a hot girl anywhere like you could find a hot girl on Pornhub that looks just like you where they don't have to pay for your content so like I think what a lot of girls kind of miss the mark on is uh, making your like making a personal brand that like these men can relate to that these men want to fuck I mean I don't think my brand is like very relatable it's just very like you're kind of weird and quirky but I dig it um 
I think well, I it shows like your personality and like yeah. connection to that, right? Like I imagine, like uh, I mean, this is just from my like limited understanding, but like because it's not just about you know hotness and sex, right? There's like narrative plot, like the kind of brainy connection that you get to someone. Like it's like substituting for loneliness in some way. Um, okay, yeah, because like. Because I imagine, you know, we I'm only really exposed to like the top earners, right? Like we're in L.A., we go to like Creators Inc. parties or whatever. And you're like, and so, um, yeah, I imagine it's like it's very hard to make a lot of money. So it's like even more. Impressive yeah, because even like, I mean, I think money was a lot easier, obviously, during quarantine because you had all that stimulus check money and that stimulus check money. All these men were just like, oh, my God, I'm going to spend it on as much porn as possible. And now that we're in a recession, it's like a lot harder to make the money that like girls were making before and especially like with instagram changing and tiktok Mm -hmm. changing like i used to like have at least one video go viral a week at least one just because i would have this like it was like a pink shirt that had a little bit of under boob and everyone would be like oh do you do you shop in the child section ha 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 but it's like now it's like a lot harder for me to go viral on tiktok because tiktok doesn't allow that anymore instagram doesn't allow like tits butts and the way that they used to it's just like Oh, all the social media platforms have, like, decreased individual user engagement. So I saw this interesting thing where it's, like, TikTok, like, over the last couple of years, not only has engagement decreased, but, like, the number of people using it has also decreased. Yeah, and I think huge. it's and, and I think it's because, um, so people are like, oh, my God, everyone's flopping on TikTok now. I'm like, there are literally less people on the app. There are less people on the app, and they're spending less time on the app because it, like, it just turned into, like, this weird shopping app, which kind of, like, missed the entire point. Like, it was, like, it was the, like um like the cultural like iconic authenticity thing and it became just like the very and it just became another you know commercialized thing and um and they don't reward like because they like they're trying to give everybody a chance to go viral but then they don't reward people like us who are like putting out stuff consistently yeah yeah okay and they're they're also they they the platforms do this all the time where they'll use like tits and ass and like all this like sort of like underground like subculture type shit to build a base like how much of uh tiktok at the start was like really sort of like grungy content uh-huh. like edgy skits and or sketches yeah, I'm 2.0, and, and, dude. yeah and, and fuck it and like hot chicks and it's like oh now this is making the whole thing interesting and now we're gonna put like remove that whole base because like oh we don't need you anymore we don't want you anymore now we got to sell the platform to uh to brands only fans tried to do the same thing where they were like oh we're not doing porn anymore but it's so much of their platform was Even porn instagram that man like i used to like i went viral like however many times like back in 2017 because i'd be posting in paces and like all like these college uh instagrams would repost me these like rave things would repost me because i was just like going to raves and fucking paces and it would always go viral i'm like now you can't do that that was no i know i that's i I remember the specific point where my ass clenching videos like stopped getting the engagement that (laughs) they were getting like i had this i had this song called like yeah oh thank you for remembering yeah i had this song called clench game strong and then so basically i was experimenting with different types of ass clenching and then you can like speed it up and slow it down i was like oh this looks really funny Uh when you like speed it up um or i would just like clap my ass for like the first second of a video and then get into like what i really wanted to talk about um Mm -hmm. But, but which was just the ass clapping oh, yeah. strategy. So, you know, it's it, funny. It I've actually worked, followed but, you, I yeah. think, since like 2019 or 2020 on TikTok. Like, you were one of the first people I followed. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> like, thank you so much. I was yeah, so no, that was when I first met you. That was like such I remember, a crazy like, we time. Were at the, we were oh at the God, Barbie party. You. And I was like, I was I think I was with like Chris and Sean. And then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you were in the and pool, I, I think. Like, Yes, it was Barbie party in the pool. I think you met me. That was the year where I was on, um, like, I feel like a lot of people, like, got the wrong, not, not the wrong, they got the wrong impression of how I perceived them because, like, I, because I, yeah. I like people. Like, in gen, in, in general, I like, I like people and think highly of them, like, uh-huh. in, in general. But I think, um, I was like going through shit and I was basically on, I was on ketamine yeah. like 24 seven. So I was constantly <laughs> like, la, la, la. and then people thought I didn't. I was like, no, like in my, in my mind, you're a superstar, but I just, I'm just like yeah. an empty shell Makes right sense. now, but we're Fuck, back. Yeah. We're so no, fucking back. This is the year we're of like mental in. health and yeah. like coming shit. I swear, like this is mm-hmm. about to be everyone's like mm-hmm. best year yet, but I, d- we're <laughs> overcoming. We're managing to yeah. suck so many dicks so many yeah. dicks I per really hour per minute me, i remember telling chris i'm like oh my god i followed her for so long like is it weird if i go up to her like i don't want to be like fangirling at a party that's like all tiktokers like is that gonna be weird he's like no she's nice she's nice so i went up to you and i'm like hi i'm deals like i was my voice got so squeaky i was so nervous i was on a lot of mushrooms too i was on a lot of mushrooms 
Oh yeah, I don't think anyone at that party was yeah, sober. I like I'm, I, I, because everybody's just like everybody at that party had just like yeah. that look and you know that yeah. like drug look where you're just like a bunch of people yeah, were on acid, wow, like. like, like yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm, oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. So I guess before we end the episode, is there anything you would like to? Plug uh, I guess just like listen to my podcast too. That's offensive. Um. And if you guys, all, all of my socials are on itseals.com. If I ever have any like stand up shows or anything, which I've only ever been performing at flappers. So I don't know, Che, isn't that kind of not great? I mean, you're just, you've only been doing it for like, like a year or so, months. right? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you're just getting started, dude. You're, 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 but yeah, if I you want to see, that's like... if you want to see a future star, yeah, I want to see a future at their, star uh, at like at my, the... my beginning. I don't, yeah, I yeah, feel like yeah. you're already a star, and that's this is just like another avenue. I mean, you've already like built up like a following, and like yeah. this is just another avenue for you to communicate your creativity. And like the fact that you are have only been doing it for three months, like that you're even up there, right? It's like it's very scary, yeah. which is why people, which is why people sit and watch people who do yeah. it and critique well, I used to them. Do, I, I was in California can't do a few it. times, so I love being on stage. Yeah, I love nice. being on stage. Oh, there you nice. Go. That's sick. Miss California. Wow. Okay. See, so look, so many, <laughs> yeah. so many things. Um. Yeah. I was like, okay, great. Um. Like, the, I mean, the fact that you've only been doing it for three months and you're like up there and like oh, making yeah. people laugh. I'm like that. Like, so many people want to do that, and then they're not. So then they're texting you and being like, "Send me nudes for free." Even yeah. though My parents are rich. Yeah. I'm like, I almost mm-hmm. said his name, but mm-hmm. you know, I'm not going to. <laughs> no, don't yeah. give, don't give him free clout. No, he's just some nah. some. Some yeah. sack of meat somewhere. That He's cheated 70% on me. Water, whatever. But still talk to him occasionally. Oof. Um, mainly just to like <laughs> kind of riff. Show him how well, successful it's you just are. Like, I'll have a memory pop up on my phone because I don't have like beef with him. I don't have beef with like a lot of people, but I'll just be like, "Oh, remember this?" Like the memory popped up, and then that's about it. And then he'll be like, "Wait, do you want mm-hmm, like send mm-hmm. me content?" I'm like, "No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no." Yeah, it's like I mean, he was there for that for that one. Yeah, one exactly. Moment. I just wanted to like yeah. Yeah, reminisce yeah. on the memories and then be like, okay, bye. <laughs> I- <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, bye. Thank you. Um, well, thank you, ser- like literally, thank you so much for coming oh, and for just, also being on the froze, podcast. Uh, deals, thank you so much for coming through. We really appreciate having you on. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Fuck. Did I? Oh, God damn it. Okay. There. So yeah, I. Whatever. My, I'm yeah. concussing. We're concussing. I'm concuss- you know what? Maybe this. Yeah, this is my um my technology is squirting <laughs> out the wrong hole. So that's mm-hmm. that's what's happening. Um no, but this was uh this was so fun to have you on. You are so you. funny and hilarious. Everybody go um everybody go follow her on everything, that's listen to that's offensive podcast, go watch her stand up, um and yeah and thank me later. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Bye guys. Thanks for coming, deals. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Dude, that episode was great. She had so many stories. Like, holy fucking shit. Like, yeah, I I need to, like, sit down and kind of study her entire life, I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's lived, like, and then even she would bring up stuff where I was like, we don't even have time to get into that. She's like a two, three podcast guest type of person. Oh, yeah. She's got so much juice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I think she needs, um, you know, a Netflix special and also just a documentary on her life. Like, I was just like, there's, there's so much to unpack here and then i also um i am a little embarrassed for not knowing that about squirt i kind of um yeah i guess i'm just not as brushed up on my squirt knowledge as i am but you know i'll I'll get myself into the squirt state more you know gotta you have to unlock the nut chakra and then the squirt chakra and then um but yeah so you can find me at sailor mel 69 420 on all socials please listen to my music on spotify under sailor mel um obviously follow and listen to this podcast rate this podcast five stars there are only a few more Mm -hmm. episodes of it left and we need your rating more than i guess um ever yeah yeah and yeah you can find me on all platforms at chaderin is c-h-e-d-u-r-e-n-a all tickets and tour dates are there little thinking news for all twitch clips and twitch everything um yeah this has been a great one guys thank you come again dude thank you come again listen to my song 420 o'clock bye
We want to hear from you, so leave us a voice message at sayhi.chat slash tycapod. Again, that's sayhi.chat at tycapod. And make sure that your message is one minute or less. You can ask us a question, share what you think is cringe, tell us a story, whatever you like. And if you do, we may play it right here on the pod. We're going to leave the link for you right below. 